It is a rainy day here in Seoul, and we're doing something that we love doing when we go to new countries, and Eating. that is... Okay. <laughs> Eating. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. Eating, but specifically going to grocery stores and convenience stores and seeing what we can find. Sometimes we want to try the most absurd looking things or the craziest or most exotic or sometimes we want to try something that looks pretty delicious. Look, we're from America and that means we have American taste buds. So we're not used to things like prawns on the outside of a potato chip bag. We're not used to octopus jerky. Did you get that? I think so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Without further ado, we have- Way too many. Tons of food. Oh, and by the way, we're gonna be using Google Translate, so we apologize to our Korean friends if this is by no means what it is. Because believe it or not, we're not fluent in Korean. But before we get going, if you are a local in Korea or maybe you're somebody who has traveled to Korea before and you know you have your favorite snacks, please drop them in the comment below, especially if you see one that we're eating that you really love, maybe we like or dislike it. Just let us know, because it'd be interesting to hear from you guys. All right, let's go. All right, so first up, I'm gonna guess from the outside, this is a ramen sort of potato chip. Oh, well, hello, no. So I think we can tell from the bag, this looks like some sort of ramen flavored. Noodle, noodle. potato chip. Oh, it smells like barbecue in there. Look at that. Mm, that's got some heat to it. So my impression is that they have a little bit of an after kick. They sort of kick you after you've been chewing on it for a second. A little sweeter than I would have thought. Kind of barbecue like you said. I give them a three of five. It, it's a three of five. It's good. Have it in the car, chew it. Gross. Have it in the car, chew it. Next up, prawn chips. We don't eat a lot of prawns back home. We paddle. I... I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the smell on this is not great. Oh, these are just our American taste buds. Maybe you like them. Maybe, I don't know. First off the bat, it looks like a prawn Cheeto. Nope. Did you just put that back in the bag? Honestly, the smell is a lot stronger than the taste. The taste isn't really much of anything. Yeah, but the taste is still fishy. It's it a, is. It's, it's a fishy chip. It's like you bite into it and release a little pocket of air that tastes like prawn. Yeah. And then it just disappears. It's just fluff. No, I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a one and a half out of five. Whoa, we need water. These are foods that you're not gonna find in a 7-Eleven back, back in the, in the States. States. All right, so Chris picked this one out. Can you see it? This is octopus jerky. I think it's octopus jerky. Oh. That's a squid, that is definitely a squid on the front. So it's a squid jerky. This is gonna smell the room up pretty nicely. Oh yeah? Oh, okay. Hey, Kramer, look, Kramer came out. <laughs> Kramer. No! Kramer. <laughs> that smells delicious. Ooh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's one piece. Oh, that smells disgusting. Oh, Look no. Look, it looks like the guy from Pirates of the Caribbean. Taste that. That's yours. That's yours. Like we said, we're not huge seafood people. I've never had squid in any form. Have you? I have never had squid. We did have octopus the other night. I don't love that it looks like they ran over it with a car and then it sat in the sun on the road for a couple days. Doesn't it? <laughs> It's, it's like roadkill, it Korean roadkill. Kramer's tail is going crazy right now. He's just... Oh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. I think you're supposed to chew on it a long time. Let's bag this up and... It doesn't taste... Hmm. It doesn't have a taste. Like when I... It doesn't have a taste. It's just really hard meat. It makes me wonder if we just bought a dog treat instead of... Did we? I don't think so. I think... <laughs> no. They have dog treats everywhere. Kramer came alive. Do we just buy dog treats? No, no, that's no. not a dog I think that's, treat. I think that's, do pe that's do people, and this has got to be jerky. I think you just chew it and it sits in your mouth for a long time. Don't touch it. Oh, is that mine. the one you ate? Yeah. Oh, I want to see its little tentacles. I mean, it's cool looking. It's cool looking, but I really think that you just take one of his tentacles off, pop it in your mouth, and it, it just sits there. Kind of like tobacco or chewing gum, you know? Just That's what I think. So you think chew this instead of gum? 
It's not going to make your breath smell good. So let us know if you're Korean or from anywhere else. Do you like squid? I don't feel like this was a good shot at trying squid because no, it's pretty dry. This, it's pretty cheap stuff. This is gas station squid. I'm yeah. sure there's some great squid here in Korea, but this was not it. I will say I did like the octopus during the food tour at the market. That, even though it was moving around, we ate it. The flavor of it was really good. Yeah. I'll say that. All right, so moving on from the squid. Cranberry, you're not getting it? <sighs> All right. Wow, that was... So something else you're not going to find in America that you're going to find in gas stations in Korea. Kimchi in a packet. Man. You see that? So kimchi can be found everywhere in Korea. Most Koreans, to our understanding, eat it at least once a day. But when I went into the 7-Eleven, they, in the fridge section, they had multiple, probably like 10 or 15 different flavors of kimchi. Kimchi to go. His nose is going nuts. Kramer, what else you got up there? Kramer wants that squid so badly right now. Oh, it smells really good. It does. It smells fresh. So if you've never had kimchi, kimchi is very, they use a lot of pepper in it and garlic, tons of garlic. Koreans love garlic and it's full of flavor. It's very aromatic, so you will smell it for days. A little, little slimier, less crunch, more slime. It's kind of slipping out of the chopsticks there. It's sweet. You just burped. <laughs> that one's a lot sweeter than the other kimchi's we've had. It's not my favorite. And we've had a lot of kimchi here. But yeah. I, I mean, we're still new to Korea. and We've only been here, what, two weeks? So our, our kimchi palettes are not as acclimated or as sophisticated yeah. as others. But that's not bad. No, it it's not spicy at all. Sometimes kimchi has a little spice to it. Yeah, but it gets the job done. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say a two and a half for this. I'm going to go two because I've tasted far better kimchi being here. <laughs> I'm gonna need the translator for this one. Is that a sweet potato? Contains dietary fiber, sweet potato snack. <laughs> so it <laughs> keeps you regular. Look at, show him the picture again. Show him the picture of that. That is a sweet potato on the outside. Can you see that? Oh, well, these are white though. Look at that. They look like potato chips. Those are really sweet. These are better than what I thought. Mmm, I kinda like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it tastes a sweet potato. I like those. I'm gonna go 4.2. I'm not really ready to get all the way to a five yet. What, what's like, why are you doing all the like four points or like? Because I can't commit. So these are Doritos. What do we have? It's a late night snack. This is the number one bag of Doritos. World number one. Seasoned chicken flavor. Really? Yeah, that's what it says right there. That's a number one bag of Doritos. No, that's not what this is. World number one nachos. So I guess it is. Does that mean they can, per capita, they eat more of these in the world than anywhere else? Apparently these Doritos are really popular. They smell like Cooler Ranch. Mmm, mmm-hmm. So what is Golby Chicken? It's just chicken, grilled chicken. It's like barbecue chicken in a Cooler Ranch Dorito. Had a baby. It's not as strong as Cool Ranch Doritos. Yeah, it doesn't have as much it's of that very mild. flavor. Very mild, yeah. They're pretty good. Can you imagine if Taco Bell got a hold of this and made the, <laughs> the taco shell out of it? They'd be unstoppable. <laughs> I picked this one because it's got a little sombrero hat on there. Because obviously when you think Korea, you think sombreros. Maybe it's it, offensive, I don't know. I don't know. So it's like street corn back in Mexico. Take a whiff of that. It's familiar, but not not in a not, good way. <laughs> they kind of look like little corn look, kernels. I don't mind that. I don't. Actually, I, I you like that? Yeah, I like that. No, that's all yours then. I'm good. 2.6. 2.6? Oh, man. I would do... I know you're annoyed with my half stars here because you have to edit that into the video. The two point, graphics. Yeah. I'm going to do a three. Ah, no, you know what? I'm going to go three and a half. I'll do three and a half. You're doing the halves now too? Well, I mean, like a half makes sense. This is good. I think the packaging is fun. The little corn stalks sure. are kind of... Sure, like, you know, they're just kind of... And now the af the aftertaste, it does taste like street corn. It does. Yeah, the aftertaste more, tastes more like it than... Yeah, the first bite, you can't taste yeah. the street corn. The aftertaste, you can. The next one is something that we have in the States. We but, do. <laughs> but I've never seen it packaged like this, and I saw it, and I thought, the people back home need to see this. Yes, we did this for you. Look at this corn. <laughs> it, like, vacuum sealed it with a little bit of corn juice in there to keep it fresh. <laughs> is there any flavor to it or is it just straight up corn? I think it's just straight up corn, Sarah. 
The way they packaged it, you can't I, she, translate it. She was enamored with the packaging, but I think she just bought a corn on the cob. <laughs> it was just hanging on a shelf, just like that. I thought it was funny. <laughs> was it in the produce section? No, it was like next to the donuts, actually. Can't get this open. So if you're, if you're going to grab some corn at 7-Eleven for lunch, make sure you have some scissors to get it open with. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just corn. I think it's just boiled corn. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if we're wrong. All right, moving on. Now, this last one... I don't know what it is at all. I saw it, and it was next to the eggs in the refrigerated session, section at 7-Eleven. And there's an egg on the front of it, but I don't know what it is. So, let's see if you can see that. And there's the happy little egg on it. I don't know. Oh, it's quail eggs. They're flavored quail eggs. I don't know if I've ever had quail. I don't know. Wow. There's something wrong about this. Look at that. Can you... What is that? Look at that. It's... Oh, I don't know, Sarah. It's not chocolate covered, right? This is no, just a quail it's egg? it's not chocolate covered. It just said spring season quail egg. There's no smell to it. It just looks like rubber. It tastes like an egg. What's the inside look like? Oh, it's just... It's just an egg, but why is it brown? I don't know, but it's in my mouth. No, 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 no. You're literally, put that, just, no, put it here, put it here. Mm -mm. That out. She didn't like that one very much. Ooh, that's a texture thing. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't get me wrong, I love eggs back home. Like, I'll cook them, like, scramble them, fry them. Put them in a stew. I love egg, but. This is. That's a weird texture on the, the outside. It's brown, like, so. It, it did, it tasted like an egg, but it was very rubbery. Yeah, the inside flavor is not bad, but it's a texture thing to me. I, I can't do that one. Ugh. All right, going okay. on. There's something sweet back there, so we need to do that. Oh, rating for the egg, definitely a negative one. I saw this, and I'm like, I don't know if it's going to be sweet or savory, but it's green beans. So it's green beans stuffed in a roll. It's like where you hide them when you don't want to eat them. What are those? Kid. It's like Sister Schubert with green beans. Comes like... Oh, no. <laughs> comes as a loaf. You can see the green... Kind of poking through right there. Ay, 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 ay. So this kind of looks like you put some baby food in a Hawaiian roll. You know the Hawaiian roll? Yeah, it have? does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hate it. I don't taste it as green bean at all. I taste the roll. The roll is really sweet. It yeah. tastes like... Roll. Hawaiian roll. Yeah, it tastes like Hawaiian roll. But the green bean, it just looks like paste right there. If you can see that, it looks like paste. So is this a way we could just by eating bread? This is how you get your greens in. Hey, I'd buy this again. Be like, you know really? what? I, I, I'd give this a three and a half out it's of five. Really sweet. I love vegetables. Next one up is Chris picked out egg cookies. I don't know. After after the quail egg, I don't know if I want more eggs right now. But they're cookies. They look like little vanilla wafers. That's what they taste like. They're like vanilla wafers. Yeah. They're good. Four out of five. I like vanilla. I'll go 4.2 again. All right, so next up are the drinks. All non-alcoholic, but they, I just don't want you to people, I think we're just like sitting here trying five different alcoholic drinks. <laughs> this is carbonated yogurt drink, or milk drink. So let me see if there's an actual definition or translation. Milkies, I love you, full kiss. New filling of soda beverage. Yeah, it's literally carbonated milk. But this is big here. You know, I don't hate it. It tastes like It tastes like a really smooth Sprite. It does. I would actually it, get that again. Oh, this is interesting. I I, I walked away from that so many times in the supermarket, and now I'm kind of regretting it. I, pretty good. I thought I was going to hate this, just because the, the color is so <laughs> off-putting. Like I mean, it, it's not bad. It's a yogurty Sprite. I don't know how they dilute the yogurt, because there's no, like, chunks floating around in it. Is there chunks in your milk anyway? Because if so, you don't need to be drinking it. <laughs> It's smooth. It's really, it's, it's really smooth. liquidy. It's not thick. I'm gonna give that a five. That's one of the better things wow. we tried today. That's pretty good. And I don't know if this is local to Korea, but I had to buy it because there's no logo other than Batman. You're right. There is nothing on the saying what it is or where it's from. And then we have Superman. This says it's cider, and this is cola. I mean, they have the right licensing. They didn't just slap the logo. Yeah, they on didn't it. slap the logo on it. So this is the Batman cola. This tastes like RC cola. It says it's cider, but again, it tastes more like Sprite. 
It almost tastes like when you mix Sprite with iced tea. Have you ever done that? No. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, that doesn't taste like Sprite. That tastes like 7-Up. There's a difference. Mm. It, it, that, that tastes like 7-Up. Tr okay, okay. Trust me. I know my cola palate. I would give those, I would oh. give that a 3. Both of them a 3. I right? would never buy them again. Yeah. But A-plus on packaging. Yeah. I mean, look at that. That's, that's Michael Keaton's Batman right there. I'm Batman. All right, that's it. <sighs> okay, that is all. Whatever we cut down to this video, at the time of this recording, we've been 48 minutes chowing down in front of you, so. What else are you gonna do on a rainy day? I mean, there's plenty to do here, don't get me wrong, but why not? And if we miss something in 7-Eleven, you're like, you should have got that instead. Put it down in the comments because we really wanna know. Let us know what to get. All right, we need to go get some real food now. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of hungry. All right, see ya. For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.